can you please introduce yourself and tell me what you do at Arizona Thin Films? Yeah, my name is uh, Craig Ament, and I'm the founder of Arizona Thin Films, which is an optical coating manufacturer here in uh, Tucson, Arizona. Great. What, um, so can you tell us a bit about what that means to be a coating manufacturer? Right. So Arizona Thin Films manufactures optical coatings for lenses and windows, and we do this by depositing very thin layers of material. And so, you know, how thin is thin? What do I mean by thin? Well, typically, um, the layers that we deposit are about 100 nanometers thick. And to relate that to something that you, you can understand, um, a human hair on average is about 100,000 nanometers thick. So about one thousandth of the thickness of a human hair is the size of the structure that, that we're depositing. Um, and if we design these, these thin layers correctly, we can create optically interesting films, which um, would allow us to control the amount of light that is either transmitted through the glass or reflected by that glass. Um, so that's, you know, technologically speaking, what we do. Um, as for the, the markets reached, um, it's, it's really quite broad. Um, any application where you're looking at a, a screen certainly has an optical coating on it. Um, so you can think of your smartphones, or tablets, um, things of that nature. Uh, eyeglasses is, 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 a, uh, is a big one. So they commonly have an anti-reflection coating on them. So if, if you're wearing glasses and you take them off and you kind of tilt them around and look at the reflection, if there's some color on it, that's a thin film coating or an optical coating. Um, some anti-counterfeiting measures on currency or bank checks make use of optical coating technology. Um, you know, a lot of medical diagnostics are now shifting toward these optical wavelengths and of course making use of optical coatings to enable those advances. So it's, it's really a, a broad application space and it's, it's one that I would only expect to broaden in the future, which makes it very exciting. That's, that's very exciting. So, um, you know, the way that I understand it is you, uh, the coatings go on most of the optics and the optics go into any market. So, I mean, it's, it's really broad and that's, uh, that's great. Um, so what brought you and Arizona Thin Films to Tucson? Yeah, so uh, a number of reasons really. Um, you know, Tucson is home to Optics Valley. And so there are a large number of optics companies in the area and they formed a really great community here. So that's that's certainly something that's that's been great to be a part of. Um, on top of that, you know, cost of living and cost of doing business business are both very attractive, relatively speaking. Um, and you know, finally, the, the weather is certainly a big plus. You know, sunny days and smiles and things like that. So um, we're very fortunate on the weather front. So, um, but overall, you know, Tucson and Arizona in general are just ideal places to do business. And I think you're kind of seeing that with uh, a lot of companies moving here lately. So. Yeah, and we've also um, just even in these these interviews, uh, Optics Valley seems to be a big draw. A lot of a lot of innovation has come out of you know the U of A, and also um, brought a lot of other uh, innovation here. Now I know you know because I'm in the industry, but um, there's not there's not actually many coding. Um, groups here in, in Tucson. So you've, you've got kind of a nice, nice little niche that you're building for yourself. Uh, that's got to be really great. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's been exciting. So I think it's, I think it's well needed and uh, we'll see where it goes. Fantastic. Um, so since you said, you know, you could touch really any, um, any market or any part of technology, how do you see the work that you do at Arizona Thin Films um, affecting the future, whether it be the future of the Tucson optics or Tucson community as a whole, or even uh, broad strokes, you know, technology. Right. Yeah. I, so I, I like to think of um, optical coatings as, as playing kind of the role of, of an enabler for advances in optics and optical engineering, and by extension, other, other fields as well. You know, we don't, we don't sell the films by themselves. We deposit them on an existing optical element via the lens window or prism. Um, and it's these films that give these optical elements interesting properties that they otherwise wouldn't have. So if you point to any up and coming technology, it tends to be loaded with optical coatings if you look closely enough. So uh, a few examples would be self-driving cars. These are covered in sensors that let them see their surroundings. And these sensors more often than not make use of some sort of optical coating um, to enable that. 
Um, if we're all familiar with these non-contact uh, temperature measurement systems for doing quick temperature checks at the airport, doctor's office, so on and so forth. Um, these wouldn't work without optical coatings. Um, the list goes on, you know, we can, we can name a lot of different applications, but the, the point is, I think, you know, engineers and scientists will continue to be creative and, and, and push the bounds of technology in a number of directions. I don't know where that's going, but I'm confident that optical coatings will be right alongside enabling those advances. So it's, it's, it's a, it's an, an exciting field to be in certainly. That's great. Thank you so much. Um, so before we wrap up, is there, uh, is there anything you want to share or, you know, give us some more background on, on coatings or anything else? Um, that's about all I had prepared actually. Okay. That's yeah. great. No, that's fine. Um, I, well, thank you so much for your time and we appreciate it.